Hey guys and welcome back to another Love Imagine 5 tutorial. In today's video it's going to be a nice and basic one once again in which we're going to be creating a true first person camera. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So as you can see we're now playing the default third person character but in first person and you can see the arms coming come up on the screen there if that's the style you wanted to go for. This is very easy and simple to customize to change to have it to look how you want but this is the one which I've gone with so the camera is in this position it's obviously controlling the player perfectly how it should be and how you'd expect it to be and again the camera is now in first person like this. So this is what we're going to be going over and creating today and in the future video I might also do a third person to first person toggle so you can transition between the two. But without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our character blueprint. So for me that's going to be control space, then content, third person, blueprints and BP third person character. Now in here we don't actually need to do any code but we're going to go straight over to the viewport first of all and you'll see this is the character that we have by default. Now obviously this doesn't just work on this one, this will work on any character that you are using but this is the one which I'm going with just as it's by default. So once we're in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the camera boom as I'm not going to need it anymore as I know I'm only going to be in first person. If you're going to be thinking between going between first and third person leave in the camera boom there. But as I'm just going first person I can remove it then drag the follow camera on to the mesh. So we now have the camera parented to the mesh which means anywhere the mesh goes the camera goes with it. Now with the camera selected, we want to change the parent socket under socket here to be head, like so. So the camera is parented to the mesh and more specifically is parented to the head. So wherever the head goes, the camera goes. And as you can see, it's now kind of moving along with the head in this idle position here. But obviously that's not where we want the camera to be looking because that's not where the eyes look on a player. So with the camera selected again, we're going to just rotate it into the correct position. So I'm going to rotate it forwards and on its side like this and this already looks a lot better. Then we can move it forward a bit and up a bit wherever we want so really just move this into the correct position which you want it to be in. I think for me this is going to be good so the location I'm using is 0 on the x, 10 on the y, and 0 on the z and the rotation is minus 90 on the x and then 90 on the z like this. So really it doesn't take a lot for you to configure it's very very easy and if you want more of the arms like a more of a first person one with the arms flailing up and down you can move it more into the chest position like this which is what a lot of games do is they have the camera in the chest but I'm personally just going to keep it in the head as this is a true first person so this is how I'm going to do it. So we can compile and save and now the camera is going to be in the correct position so the player will see perfectly how they should. However this isn't going to control perfectly how it should. So to set that up all we need to do is again select the camera then we need to tick use pawn control rotation under the camera options down here. And essentially it, what it does is as it sounds is where the pawn rotates to is where the camera rotates to. So where you want to look is where the camera will actually look. And one final thing is up in the top left we need to select BP third person character self and then tick use control the rotation your. And what this is going to do is allow us to also look up and down too. So the use pawn control rotation will allow us to look left and right and use rotation your will allow us to look up and down. So if we compile save this we can close it and this should now be working perfectly for us. So let's hit play and test this out. You'll notice I'm in first person. I can look down and see the chest like that. Now the reason it's pointing sideways is just because of this animation and mesh which we have for this character given to us by default by Epic Games is they're standing a little bit sideways for some reason. So that's the only reason that is like that. But the head's looking forwards but the chest is sideways. But again we'll get in and look at this again so we can see the arms moving, legs moving. If we look up we can see the hands kind of coming in front of the screen like that. So this is now what we've got created and set up for us is a true first person camera. So I think that'll be it for this video which we've done everything we've wanted to do. We've set it up so we've changed it from a third person camera to a first person camera so we've essentially got a first person game mode but with a mesh as well so when your player looks down they'll also see a character mesh instead of it just being a floating camera with nothing underneath them and basically no player there. We want there to actually be something to look at. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you did find it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.